I was driving one night, and I was WTWL, which means watching TikTok while driving. Maybe I shouldn't do stuff like that, but it has become a habit. No matter what, I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. I guess I've just become bored with life and just have been complacent while driving, thinking that nothing was going to happen to me. However, something happened one night that made me change my ways. While I was half driving and watching TikTok, a car came into my lane and was coming right towards me. I did not notice and continued to drive forward unknowingly right towards some headlights. The car was far and I could not see the headlights beaming into my face quite yet. I looked up at the last minute and saw the car coming right at me. I was able to swerve at the very last second to avoid a head-on collision. Unfortunately, the oncoming car got enough of my car to send me spinning out of control. After a while, my car finally stopped spinning. I was in shock and my car was totaled, but luckily, I wasn't injured. However, as I was sitting in the car waiting for the police to arrive, I noticed a figure walking towards me. The figure coming towards me looked like some kind of monster out of a horror movie. The figure was covered in blood and their face was almost completely destroyed. They reached out towards me with their hands as if they were trying to grab me and I screamed and scrambled out of the car. I got some distance between me and the monster. At that point I realized it was no monster but a person injured very badly. I put two and two together and realized that it was the driver from the other car. He got out of his car and was coming towards me trying to get help. I called for an ambulance immediately. The man was taken to the hospital and treated for multiple injuries. He was able to survive. When the police questioned me about why I took so long to swerve out of the way, I confessed that I had been watching TikTok while I was driving. He laughed. I said, why are you laughing? This is not a good time for that. He said the other guy was watching TikTok as well. I wasn't paying attention to where he was going. That's why he swerved into your lane. Tragically, the guy's mistake caused him to have permanent damage all over his body, and he almost killed me. I stopped watching TikTok. I stopped watching things while I drive after that and never did it again. Humans can't really multitask, even if we think we can. When you're driving, concentrate on driving. You never know when something bad could happen. It was late one night and I was driving home from a friend's house and it was raining heavily. The roads were slick with water and visibility was foggy and low. A fog layer had descended on the road and it was extremely difficult to see anything. As I was driving, I suddenly heard a loud bang and felt the wheel jerk out of my hand. My car hit a deep pothole and I lost control completely. I tried to regain control of the steering wheel but it was too late. The car careened off the road and into a ditch. I was terrified and my heart was racing. I was stuck in the car and couldn't move. Suddenly, I heard a knock on my window. It was another driver who had seen the accident and called for help. The man helped me out of the car. I was shaken up pretty bad and felt sore. I don't know what was hurt, but I could see blood in my car. It must have been coming out of me somewhere, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from. The man that saw the accident asked me basic questions about my age, height, weight, things like that. He said it was to pass to the EMT personnel when they showed up, which made a lot of sense to me. So I told him. Clutching my stomach in pain, I tried to answer the questions. Suddenly, something changed with this guy. The questions became really disturbing. He asked me when I lost my virginity, and if I preferred to be a top or a bottom. I'm sitting there bleeding, and he's asking me some pretty intrusive questions. I started not to answer his questions anymore, or at least let it drag out. After a while of sitting on the side of the road, 
I started to wonder where the ambulance was. I pulled my phone out to call myself when the man slapped the phone out of my hand. I knew then that he had not called the police or an ambulance at all. How did I get so lucky, I thought. I jumped up despite the pain and ran after my phone. I got it. It was cracked, but still functional. The man chased after me, and I was able to get a surprise hit right into his throat, sending him to the ground. I ran into the woods and called the police. Eventually, the police and EMTs arrived. I told them what happened and what the man did after the accident. It turns out that the man had seen the Ted Bundy documentary and was inspired to carry on his legacy. He even had purchased a Volkswagen Beetle that he drove around to really get into his role. The police found a jackhammer in the back of the car. With that jackhammer, he had created a large pothole for someone to drive into and just waited for someone to come along. I was the lucky one. They arrested him and put him in jail for attempted kidnapping. Pay extra attention when driving in a storm. Something as small as a pothole can send your car out of control. One night, I was driving home from an AA meeting. I was a self-referral, and I'm lucky I'm still able to drive. I had not ever drank and drive, but drinking has kept me in the house a lot, and I've missed a lot of opportunities hanging out with others that I could have experienced if sober. So I actually go to AA meetings for the help. It was a dark and stormy night, with heavy rains and strong winds. As I was driving, I suddenly heard a loud noise from the back of my car. I looked into the rearview mirror and didn't see anything, but I felt a shuffling in my car, and I noticed that my tire had blown out. I panicked and pulled over to the side of the road. As I was going for the handle to get out of my car to change the tire, I heard a loud knock on my window. I turned to the window and saw a man standing there, soaked from the rain and looking very menacing. I think he was drunk. As I got out, I looked at the guy. I went over to get the stuff for my tire and lay it all out so I could fix it. I tried to ignore the man and focused on changing my tire, but he kept trying to talk to me. He demanded that I give him a ride. I told him, okay, but I have to change the tire first, and then I could give him a ride, but he would just have to wait. Suddenly, he pulled out the biggest knife I had ever seen. I was terrified, and I had no idea what to do. I jumped back in the car and locked all the doors. I pulled out my phone. I called 911 and explained the situation to the operator. They told me to stay in the car and lock the doors until they arrived. I did as they instructed locking all the doors, and waiting anxiously for the police to arrive. Outside the car, the guy was getting pissed. He started to bang on the windows really hard. The joke's on him, though. Like an idiot at the time that I bought the car, I had gone for this ballistic glass option, thinking I was going to get shot at or something. Well, who's dumb now? The guy can bang as hard as he wants on the window, but he's not getting through. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the police arrived and arrested the man. I was relieved and grateful to be safe, but that was definitely one of the most scary driving experiences I've ever had. When buying a car, go for the ballistic glass option. It might just save your life. Hey, Spooky Sooner here. Uh, October was a great month. I put out a couple stories there. Now it's on to December, Christmas season. Um, I originally uh, did a story that I'm going to redo for uh, Christmas. And then there might be a couple other stories as well. So I uh, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Everybody was safe. Thanks for all the subscribers. Um, if you like my stories and you want to see more, make sure you like and share my videos. Uh, with your friends and then maybe get them to subscribe as well so uh, i appreciate all the support uh thank you very much stay spooky i was terrified and my heart was racing racing um it turns out that the man had seen the ted buddy them as i got out of the mic as i got out of the
as I got it. 